What's going on everybody? Michael here at 3D Print Everything and today I just got something cool I wanted to share with you. This is a uh, personal project slash it's a paid project but uh, not in the sense that I'm getting paid. I'm honestly doing this um, for the experimentalness of it and uh, I'm really excited to see what it is. So I'm just doing it at cost, probably actually at, at a little bit of a loss now for how much we've already uh, toyed with it. But uh, in my past and up to now, I've been a, a, a good audiophile. Audiophile being that, that um, you know, I like good music. I like good sounding music. You know, I've, I've always had cool cars. And in my cool cars, I've always made sure to spend good money on the exhaust and the sound system. Um, and that's good speakers and bass. Um, so I've always loved a good bass. And, uh, you know, you've seen some of my... Some of my deals talking about um you know my shop subwoofer and what we have here but um what we're doing here is pretty unique so i think this part right here and many other parts like it are going to be a part of the world's first and largest 3d printed or like most so there's other people that have made 3d printed subwoofers there's four inches five inches i think i've seen someone run an eight and ten inch um and got some decent numbers sitting in their car you know but this is going to be an 8,000 watt box and this is only half of it what you're seeing here sorry i'm not looking through my camera like i should be so this is an <laughs> going to be an 8,000 watt box this is half of it so this is for 115 right here as far as my recollection this is going to be the first curved band pass box like most people um well just about every single box out there you don't have curves like this in them because when you're working with wood in order to make a curve like this you've got to go through a whole lot of effort now 3d printing makes that a whole lot easier but doing it right because we're talking now about a pretty decent sized piece you've got to do it a, a certain way and this has to be ridiculously solid plastic alone um, can potentially be enough but you're going to spend a whole lot of money on plastic so if we hollow it it might not be enough but what we're doing is actually backfilling it with a uh, liquid glass resin um, so that's going to seep in and permeate and it's also going to get a coating on the outside of the uh, print as well and that's going to give us a reinforced really really strong print and if we wanted to go all the way i would electroplate it and, and plate it in metal and then that would end up allowing it especially like this if i left it like this or actually hollow on both ends and we plated it this would be a ridiculously strong piece um might even have to consider that in the future as an option because it would last for forever electroplated um, and then the channels through the part would be plating inside and out and it'll permeate through the layer lines um, because water can kind of seep through in certain areas um, and it'll kind of it, it'll just it'll seep into all those cracks and, and help it stick really well but i'm really excited to see this come to life i believe we are just about done we're going to pour these last couple of pieces this one these two i did do successfully on a tall one and i've got a printer big enough to do this but because this isn't um something that i'm making a ton of money on my biggest printer has stayed on production work and it hasn't uh, been free of doing production work so I, I haven't been able to print them in one pieces i printed these off the mingda but they gave me some issues that i kind of highlighted in one of my other videos um they'll be good enough for this and especially for testing um the first ones we did we tested with expanding foam but that had its own list of issues um but what'll be cool is is when we're done with this we are going to test it um we're going to sbl test it we're going to take it not only here um not only in his car but most likely out to a field to get a nice unbiased you know quiet environment that we can then hammer on it and see um you know how this was this quadruple or triple band pass or whatever this is um i could even be saying that wrong but I've learned a lot about these subwoofers and how they're built and the, and the travel of sound. Um, but these curves should make a really nice difference in how that is going to be transferred through this box. So I'm really excited to, uh, to see what's going to wind up happening with this. But Thanks guys. Just wanted to kind of share that. It's a cool project that we're, that we're having. Here's a, here's a chunk of plexiglass. So this is going to let you see 
completely into the box so you're gonna get to see some of the 3d printed channels and the speakers are right down there those monsters they weigh like 80 pounds a piece um, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool but tell me what you think about this if you're an audiophile if you if you came here through this video through 3d printing or through the subwoofers let me know in the comments um, if you've got a really banging system let me know what you got what do you you, you, you know 2,000 watts and above. Don't don't tell me about some weak ass. Excuse me, some weak stuff. <laughs> but yeah, what's your what what what's a powerful box you got? Um, what do you think? This thing should get all the hertz down in the 20s um, and be pretty dang cool. But anyways, have a good day, guys.